Hello everyone, welcome back to more Tales of Arise. Um, we, um... We're far now, believe it or not. See? We have cows and piggins and chickenins. On this, our lovely little farm. Because I, I met a random man on the road. It helped him out. So he's like, you can have a farm now! I was like, oh, okay. But now we're going to press on to, I guess, the big city. We'll find out why this place is so different from the other realms. Yep. One of the other Red Lords decided you can get more energy out of a healthy, vibrant, large populace than you can out of an oppressed, starving, regularly beaten to death populace. Well, I'm glad I, I called for this. <clears throat> Plus, it makes the obvious question of. Well, how are you going to excuse murdering their lord now? Everyone likes their boss. Look, Renan soldiers. Do the Renans control this city? I've never seen so many of them in one place before. No. Look at the cores on them. These people are all Danans. They're slaves. If they are, they're awfully well-dressed. And they're smiling, too. Something weird's going on here. Forgive the intrusion, but if I'm not mistaken, you're newcomers to Elda Menencia, yes? Please, you have no reason to be alarmed. My name is Drashen. I work at the Department for Welfare. Mm. Department for Welfare? Mm. We work to support the day-to-day -day living of all citizens. Welcoming newcomers to the realm is a part of our job, albeit one we rarely have the pleasure to perform. Let me guess. We get a free pair of shackles as a welcome gift. Perish the thought! Your trepidation is perfectly understandable, but I assure you, our way is quite different. <sighs> so... In the past, this realm was no different from ah, here the we go, other, here we go. and run by a rather merciless ruler. But all of that changed once His Excellency, Lord Dohalim, assumed power seven years ago. Dohalim? Under him, for the first time in our lives, we Danans were treated with the respect we deserve. Lord Dohalim is adored by Danans throughout the realm, and we serve him with gladness. Mm, okay. Am I hearing you right? The Danans here willingly serve a Renan There's still Lord? a decent chance that it's all an evil Please, conspiracy. see for yourself. You're free to go anywhere you like. Just ask if you should need anything. What is it? Spit it out. It's just, we came here to free everyone. Uh-huh. But the Danans of this realm are all happy to serve Dohalim. Are there any walls that even need tearing down? Who cares? That just makes our path to Dohalim that much clearer. I guess, but... Maybe we should get around Still, to finding out, Shion, why you want to kill ourselves. these lords. Maybe we should look around a bit, see what we learn. I mean, we're on Lord 3. I feel like some understanding of your reasons. Everyone is all smiles. I've Come never here. seen a city so lively before. Mm. Yo, Morocco's big guy, let me wear it. In a den like you could wear. Remember that samurai armor, everybody. Everyone walking the streets looks so calm and happy. I guess it really is true that they <coughs> treat Dan's as slaves here. Did they actually somehow achieve equality here? 
And if they did, why? To what end? Something here doesn't feel right. Even though they sure want to act like it does. What is going through that Lord Dohalim's mind, I wonder? <sighs> well, I'm willing to hear any theories anybody else has about what's going on. Mine is that he... He's actually evil. But he did think that a large... Populous society would get him more energy. Uh, then the, uh, yeah, will get him more energy than oppressing everybody would. Mm, Tilly Palace. Right. Okay. Hey, Godsman, shouldn't you be working? Eh, nah. Oh, look at that. The the dad and slave guy is all like, hey, you shouldn't be that lazy. Think of the children, man. And he's like, ah, oh, I guess. Well played. Well played. Most soothing beds in town. All right, let's find. Let's put that to the test. Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. <coughs> I think we'll get another person in this place uh, can't craft any weapon upgrades yet uh, ooh. where's the where is the there you, there you are plenty of minerals to find let's make an accessory there we are warrior emblems Try on something new. Oops. Ah. There we go. Bye. Place is looking pretty, uh, pretty friendly so far. <clears throat> I have to say. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? I wonder if something happened. Hello, sir. Look at you in your fancy outfit. Hmm. Right. Uh, granite fangs. Yes, hmm? I do. That can't be. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, so I'm going to test something I'm curious. <sighs> sure. 
how's this? Mm hmm. Wow. <laughs> hey. He often does like his weapons. Taste testing tasks. Money. Gold. SP. Zugal fangs would make great weapons. You need to stop this fixation with weapons. But you're the same way about food. Are you planning to stop that? Can <sighs> mm, I you right now? Uh, sure. So it is a little weird to think that all of this happened in just seven years. <coughs> What's this thing? Oh, I just found 500 bucks sitting around in the open. And a box of beef! Sure. <laughs> Some liquor. We have a Renan with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've seen lots of Renans around here. Sure. Yeah, since you all appear to be of that persuasion. Is that code for a kind of arena where you complete you make complete strangers fight to kill each other for sport? <laughs> no. Mm, so it used to be. All right, we'll have to check it out. The training grounds. Oh, I heard an owl. Aha! All right, fine. Silver Sin Cleaver Armor. Well, it's probably just a costume.
we finally made it. All right, so well, you know, we're in no rush. Might as well keep exploring. The Earth Lord. So, do any of you know anything about Lord Dohalim? I think I remember hearing something back in Cislodan about how he fights using a rod. A rod? I don't know the details, but from what I gather, he swings a long rod around and uses it to stab and smack people from afar. Look those spears! I think there's also something he does with, like, trees or grass or something? I forget. Grass? Bear in mind that Elda Menencia harvests Earth astral energy. It would be no surprise for him to have some sort of control over plants. So basically the point is we know nothing about the guy. Wish we weren't going in completely blind. Oh no. Can't go through there yet. Big happy city, full of happy people. I wonder if something happened. Okay. That thing along the way. Mm -hmm. Yes, the dragon. Hmm. Got it. Hmm. Just great. Flying around the highway. Supposed to cause trouble. Yep, yep, so it's the dragon. Well. Alright. No. What are you gonna use the prize money for? What else? Eating until my stomach bursts. That sounds right up Sheon's alley. It does. I do like this, uh, the city design actually. I quite like it. This is a dangerous realm. Hello, sir. Oh. Will you give me a ranch as well? That's the yes. Oh, yeah, Gordino. <sighs> ah. Yeah. He likes special mushrooms. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Huh? Yeah, we all love meat. A beef stew, eh? Hey. <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> why do you guys care? You're on an assassination mission. He's a criminal. We should look down on him, says the rebels and assassins. <laughs> <clears throat> right. Nice work. <sighs> right. No way. Five hours of all right. I don't believe this. That's how you go, Doctor Boy. Then you can forget about having any. We've been uh, we've been a little Great. sidetracked. Very nice. What? I guess. I feel like his reaction is even more dramatic than oh. last time. Yeah! Whoa! So, so rich and packed with the taste of mean veggies. That's all the only good flavor. They're so medium tasty and just the way they are. We can really like complimentary side dish. Oh, this is bad. Real bad. 
Yeah, that's a pretty good. Yeah, it's not much, much better. Ah. That boy does his flap his jaws. Flavor something you expect your whole body. No, you're very so. Just great. Right. Yes. <laughs> All right. We'll see you in the next round, buddy. so gung-ho about it. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? Shion? You've got sauce on your face. <laughs> oh, Shion. Wait. There's a... I just can't hold a catalyst. We're not like those other insurgents? I think there's perhaps a bit of a mistranslation there. Seems like a nice safe place to live. Alright. <coughs> we paid a fair wage for the work we do. It's all thanks to Lord Dohalim. I still can't believe I'm seeing Danins and Renans getting along. You never know. It could all be an act on orders from the Renans. To what end? It would be an incredible amount of effort just to fool us. Let's check out more of the city. There's probably places we haven't seen yet. Yeah. This looks like... the arena? So these are the training grounds. The atmosphere here feels different compared to the rest of Vicent. It's just a nicer name for a place where people go to fight. So? It's still a good way for us to test our strength. Stop sweating the small stuff. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, sometimes you just do need a nicer name. What ultimate might? Chess. <laughs> Tried to pick a fight with one of them, and they're like, ah, You're an idiot. Stop being an idiot. You idiot. All right. Sure. Here an explanation. Okay. <clears throat> sure. We'll try a, a basic novice challenge. Level 32. Okay. You pay for that. Yeah, we're just gonna leave now. I don't particularly want to fight level 32 enemies. Oh, recommended level. It does have a recommended level there. Alright, well, let's leave that one alone for now. Though I do not need to hit a... in again.
Now the ranch did seem like it had some. Uh, uh, that something had, had grown up. Finally made it. Oh, they're there. My cows and my piggins. My chickens. My bulls. I can't believe we actually raised this. Chicken. Gained five chickens. Oh no! There's rats! All right, I want to go run to that. Oh, actually, no, no, we'll, we'll, there may be an opportunity if I run back to the campground. Hey, guys, how's it going? Doing okay? I hate camping out. But we get to eat food, Xi'an. Think of the food. Maybe I'll get some training in before we eat. All done. Come and eat. There we are. We can have a chat with Why Law. I join you, Law. Hey, Alfin. When do you find the time to train? What's brought this on all of a sudden? It's just, even without the blazing sword, you'd still be able to hold your own, right? But I never see you training. I'd hardly call it a regimen. Unless exchanging blows with Zoogles counts. I mean, sure, I get that real-life practice beats training any day. But you must have the odd trick or two up your sleeve. I just told you. I really don't. Wait, I've got it. It's your armor, right? You channel the extra weight into your strikes and... It's actually not as heavy as it looks. So not the armor, huh? In that case... Ah, just calm down a little. I like you? it, though. I like this aspect of his so personality. Why fixated on this anyway? Well, because I want to make myself stronger. You're strong enough as it is. I almost feel sorry for those Renan soldiers. It's not enough. I need to keep working to get stronger. I won't allow myself to fail anyone again. Law? I'm useless the way I am now. If someone else dies because of me... Law! Uh, uh, sorry. Spiraling into self-doubt won't do me any favors. I know that. None of us are invincible, Law. We're all just getting by, doing the best we can. Some of us having That's a magical sword that other, burns our hands. Right? It's as good a place as any to start, I guess. To start what? My new training regimen, of course. And what better way to kick it off than push-ups? One, two, three, four. <laughs> I admire your enthusiasm. Just don't overdo it, okay? Just wait. You'll see how strong I can get. Man, I didn't expect Law to be quite like that kind of person. Night. After our brief initial run-ins with him. But, you know, it's fine. I feel pretty refreshed after that sleep. We're gonna take a break now. I may do some off-screen grinding. Let's see if I can take out that that dragon. Let me think about it. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.